Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Master 64 Welcome back to some more Carmen San Diego Secret of the Stolen Drums. In the last episode, we finished up on Machu Picchu, where we fought an ancient spirit. But as usual, Carmen got away, and we are now over here in Arendelle, where it hasn't frozen over yet. Shocker. Um, but yeah, we are here in Arendelle, New England. And we're gonna go through, and we're going to find some of these robots, and we're going to hopefully survive. Um... I always remember this one to be one of the more difficult, probably one of the more difficult ones. Um, because of the amount of robots in the area. And speaking of... Who... He's gonna turn around. Or is he just gonna stand there like a... Okay. Okay, we're gonna vote. Nope. My guess is that I have to come over here. Okay, we, uh... Well, he didn't see a gosh darn thing. Well, it did see a gosh darn thing. Mother. Ah, darn it, I thought I could get out. Oh, I thought I could try and hang off the side like that and not be hit, but I was wrong. And there's one of the codes. Okay, we're going to do that. Yay! Ow. Okay, I only need to find some help. Okay, that'll turn that on. Okay, from Jules. Paul, our infrared scanners show a lot of activity inside the castle walls. That's odd for this time of night. Try to find a way in. You may be able to surprise her. Jules out. Okay. I've hated whichever the term is. I don't have to deal with you guys. I got a GTFO. Oh. I'm kind of glad there's no like there's no like dedicated cutscene for each of these gates opening. Really, it, it doesn't really get on this get on people's nerves. It's just oh, you know it goes here, so I'm not gonna worry. Okay, these are new guys. New guys that go down really easily.
Ow. Stop dipping your feet into the thing, okay? There we go. That one was simple. I thought the... I thought for a second that the robot was behind me. Hi, there's one of the four compasses we need for this area. Uh... Here. Yeah! I'm already this far in, and it's only like seven minutes. Or I am over here. You stupid robot. Honestly, come to think of it, the Carmen San Diego series is known to have its different villains, right? There's, uh, there was Clarinet and Coronet from the animated, one of the animated, um, There's clarinet and cornet from one of the animated episodes, um, where Carmen steals, um, like, musicians' talents and all that. Hey, look, that door's open. Ow. You cannot see me, for I am behind this crate. Um, but despite the fact that Carmen's got many people working for her in Vile, uh, Vile at least for this this uh, version of Carmen, um, they they really didn't use any of uh, the other villains for the boss fights, and I feel like that would have been a lot cooler. That would have been a lot. They would be better. Because there was a guy, okay, uh, so I did some research on some of the characters, and one of them is like, this dude is scared of bugs, and I think he's got like some kind of, uh, his name is like a pun on the bugs or something like that. I think he was from, it's like one of those, um, how was it? It's one of those like CD games and all that, Probably like CDI, one of the CDI games. I don't remember, but um, and you know, even the original Carmen San Diego game had like a, the original Carmen San Diego game had um some some villains too. I forgot some of them, even though I had just figured out what one of them was. I think sometime a couple of weeks ago, but I don't know. Okay, Arendelle Castle Courtyard. Cool for the camera to be locked on the. How did you? Oh, birds! 
you know what? That's not my fault. I know that is my fault. And that's my fault. I scared the birds, and that's what drew them drew their attention. I'll admit that. And we're gonna hide down this corner here. We are already close to another level up, another power up. I'm gonna mess around with the camera, guys, so if any human motion sickness, I apologize. Okay, there's a robot. Totems. Whatever these are. We'll get another power up. Oh, I probably shouldn't have run. Oh, crap. I could not see him at all. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay. Robot. Okay. Man, that's not one. That's not. Well, that's one we didn't have to kill. What? Oh, the security cameras. <laughs> Completely forgot that was a thing. What? What? Oh, hold on. What? Wait, hold on. The robot, like, was triggered, right? And it ran in the complete opposite direction of Cole. Hey, there's some more of Carmen's robots. Darn it. Okay, there's one of the robots. One more. Okay, let's see about 
about this guy right here. Your staff has been upgraded. The heck? Okay, that uh, robot's uh, backlights. Is that called? That that lingered. Um. Okay, now let's start collecting. Hi guys. Hey, don't worry about me. Everything's fine. I'm just castle security. Ah, uh, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> buddy whatever kind of buddy you want to be buddy <laughs> oh wait there's stairs down here Left are the ones that, sh that we get from destroying the stone statues and the puzzle piece. All right, from Shadow. I gotta hand it to you, kid. You found the only entrance to the crypt. If Carmen San Diego is as smart as I think she is, she's got an escape plan. I'm scanning some pretty strong energy pulses radiating from inside, so be careful. I hate that I'm stuck in Siberia for this one. This is what I don't understand. Cole has been able to go all over the world, but uh, Shadow and Jules are stuck in Siberia. Mm, I have to go destroy some more robots. I didn't turn around. Ah, oh, darn it, I should just hit the freaking attack button while it went down. Need one more.
Oh, come on, scare me these birds. Ouch. There is no way they can see me. Okay, we're just gonna hold, hold up here. I don't have to worry about you, robot. Because honestly, you're just a you're just a menial part of this entire task. I don't have to worry about a single. I don't have to do anything about you. All I have to do is to go to the crypt and be done with this. But you know what? Screw you. Okay, so we have access to the crypt. It's good to know that the power up is really is really being handy. Okay, what's going on down here, guys? Got something you don't want to show me? Oh my God! What the I'm dead. Okay. And okay. I guess there's still not all the puzzle pieces yet. Okay, there we go. That's all the puzzle pieces. I think this one was one I had to kind of cheat on. Observe the picture carefully. Select a section, then paint the coat of arms to match the puzzle. Purple, yellow, gold, black, black. Ah, no, don't reset the puzzle. Quite right, Cole. Try again. A to skip. Okay. Purple, gold. No, wait. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's. 
this color and it's no red over blue this one I think is correct this one purple there we go great job Cole I didn't know you had artistic talent a coat of arms was granted by royal decree and often earned through heroic deeds in battle or if you were wealthy enough you could just buy one just between us I think Shadow would have to buy his. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So that puts the pathways to two different sides, and I think we have to put each put each one. Then we go to the other side. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Okay. Bridge lowered. Check it out, there's a drum. Uh, oh, I got two from Jules. Good work, Cole. We'll finally know what's with these mysterious drums and why Carmen is after them. I'm getting nervous about this. You better get out of there as fast as you can. And then from... And then from Jules. My indicators are redlining. There's a tremendous surge of energy coming from inside the crypt and it's closing in on you. Cole? Uh, I'm losing your signal. Cole? Answer me! Okay, we're fine. Yeah, and there goes that. We have a compass. Now we just need one more. <gasps> That's lava. Do that again, and then we just make our way out of here. We have all the compass parts we need. We have, mm, we have, yeah, we already did the puzzle. And the only thing we have left to do is head about, head outside, open the statue, and then we get the freaking, um, then we get Carmen's next location. I will fight you at your knees. I will bite your toes off if I have to. Okay. I don't know how legitimate the whole toe biting claim is, but uh. Uh. 
All right. And gotta go up here to the courtyard. Time for a cutscene. I guess not. <laughs> Alright, because you had to get all the compasses first and then. Yeah! Where are we going? Alright, we're still in Europe. We're in France. Paris? Ile de France. Paris. Carmen located. Au revoir, mon ami. Mille chance la prochaine fois. Bad news. Carmen ambushed me and got the drum. I know. We heard on your communicator. But she was speaking French. Then I know where I'm going next. A really simple... How did you ever find her in Paris? Finding her was the easy part. Go on. What was the hard part? Well, one of the drums was part of the exhibition at the Louvre. But when I got there, something suspicious happened. Something suspicious? When I got there, I discovered that the museum director had canceled the exhibition without any explanation. So I went looking for clues. And that's when you called me. Cole! Where are you? Paris! I found the drum at the Louvre. Where's Carmen? I don't know. I think she's gonna make a move tonight. I'll tell you as soon as I know something. No! I'm warning you! And he hung up on her. Alright. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's go to- France is thought to have been inhabited by humans for close to 90,000 years. The current capital of France is Paris, also known as the City of Light. It is home to the Eiffel Tower, Notre Dame Cathedral, and Lac de Triomphe. Paris is also known for the birth of the first modern university. The Louvre is in Paris, and was first built as a medieval castle in 1200 AD. It was used by the kings of France as a palace, up until the French Revolution. Now it is one of the most famous museums in the world. Okay. Oh my goodness, what is it now, Jules? Okay. I hate to say it, but it's time to play by the rules. You can't break anything in this place. We lost Carmen in the Mesopotamian section. She must be wearing a scrambling device. Look for a passageway to that room. In the meantime, I'll try to get the signal back. Talk to you later. Okay. We're safe here. And that's going to do it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more of Carmen San Diego, um, I don't know. I'll probably get around to playing uh, the Carmen San Diego game that's on Steam. That fe uh, that actually features Jewels and Shadow. Um, this is honestly one of the first Carmen San Diego games I really got my hands on playing, aside from the handheld here. But uh the game is fun though there are certain aspects you may forget about it like with the security cameras like i mentioned i kind of wish the combat was upgraded um or like there's extra moves you can make because fighting those guys that block uh you have to figure out some way around them but anyways thank you guys again for watching if you want to support the channel head on down to my patreon link below the bell notification to stay up to date with all the updates I make. And be sure to subscribe to see more of my content. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.